Uh, hey guys, welcome to this session on first open form simulation. In this session, so we are going to talk about this uh, introduction, open uh, objectives, structure problem, what it is, open form case structure, generate mesh and run the solver, visualize in post process uh, results and some summary. This will be the point of discussion. So uh, in this session, we are going to simulate uh, a shock tube problem and uh, obtain results that look like uh, something like this. So, um, something like this, temperature field, pressure field. Uh, so, we simulate the problem using open form. We visualize, we visualize the results like contour plots and other animations using uh, ParaView. Uh, plots are done using Python for the graphs or it's also possible to do the same thing using uh, LibreOffice Calc or Origin, Deckplot, MATLAB, Excel and so on. So uh, in this shock tube problem uh, we simulate 7 milliseconds of flow inside a shock tube with three different meshes. First mesh is 100 cells, the second mesh is 1000 cells, the third mesh is 10,000 cells in one dimension. So the problem is one dimension, uh, which means only in X direction we are increasing the cells and see the change in the result. This is called uh, mesh independence test or grid resolution. So in the we keep in the Y and Z direction uh, without change or simply unit. Now, initial values taken are 1 bar and 0 0.1 bar, which means a pressure ratio of 1, a pressure ratio of 10, and 10 bar and 0 0.1 bar, which means pressure ratio of between two chambers is equal to 100. So the solver, three different solvers can be used. One is a sonic foam solver, which was used in the old versions of the uh, foundation of the foam, and it is uh, later changed into Raw people, uh, raw people form, yeah. And uh, another solver is raw people form, the latest uh, versions. But this sonic form is still in use by open form plus. And the third one is raw central form. So these uh, solvers are uh, almost similar. Uh, in few uh, changes, uh, raw people form is based on uh, this is pressure based solver. And raw central form is a density based solver uh, which is central upwind scheme. It, uh, so these solvers are transient solvers for laminar and turbulent flow of compressible fluids. It comes, they also come with optional mesh motion and mesh topology changes, which means if you have a problem with dynamic motion or moving geometries, which is at high speed for compressible flow, you can use this solver. So, solve the energy equation, which is non isothermal solver. You can solve for the temperature or energy. But it is single phase. So, what is the governing equation for this? So, the governing equations are the simplified form of the Navier Stokes equations, which is called the Euler equations. And uh, this is uh, we are solving in viscid and laminar case. So, uh, the main objectives in this simulation series uh, we will see in detail the open form case structure, what it looks like. So what are the sub, what is the main directory and what are the sub directories and what the contents the files inside. So we modify a block mesh dict and run block mesh to generate the mesh. We set up and run the set fields dictionary. So we modify create regions in the set fields and run the set field to uh, initialize. Run the raw pimple form running all semic form, so in this case we'll do pause, grid, in, we'll do, uh, grid independence uh, study, visualize the results with Paraview, and plot and compare results using Python or LibreOffice Calc. So what is the hell is a shock tube? What is shock tube problem, you might be wondering. So a shock tube is a kind of rectangular or maybe circular enclosed tube in which shock waves are produced produced as a result of rupturing of a diaphragm separating two cha uh, chambers containing 
compressible fluid or fluids at different uh, pressures. Consider this channel. Maybe uh, an enclosed tube, this long tube. So it contains fluid at high pressure in the left and fluid at low pressure in the right. They are separated by a diaphragm at time t equals zero. So when the time evolves, uh, suddenly this uh, diaphragm ruptures and the high pressure fluid on the left exerts compression on the low pressure fluid in the right. And as a result, um, a system of complex shock waves will be created. So the system of complex shock waves here, one is normal shock wave traveling to the right, another is expansion wave or called this expansion fan traveling to the left. And the contact discontinuity that is from the diaphragm travels to the left direction. So this is what is happening. Now, uh, what is a shock wave? You might want to understand what shock wave is. A shock wave is a phenomenon that occurs at high speeds, that is in real flow. Real flow, in essence, is uh, viscous, incompressible flows, with boundary layers and that. So, uh, it is an important subject for design or uh, for some industrial applications. It has, like in rocket nozzles, information channels, wind tunnel simulations of, uh, in wind tunnels and in simulations of explosions and detonations. Uh, and also in the design of uh, the intakes and models of scramjets and ramjet engines that they don't have compressors and turbines. Instead, they use series of shock waves to increase the pressure, to create the pressure reference, which is required. So many applications. So we are not interested in this application. But uh, why do we want to solve this problem? Well, the shock tube killed has an analytical solution and experimental data, plenty of experimental data. So it is mostly used by uh, many people to test their newly developed solvers. Solvers may be commercial or open form, so this is standard test case. And their numerical schemes are validated using this test case. So uh, now let us uh, jump start into simulating the shock tube by copying the file uh, into the run directory. And we are going to use some of the aliases uh, which are already here. Mm, okay. So uh, we will 